I can uh, give the floor to Mr. Bertoncini, will be followed uh, by uh, Mrs. Eva Mezzaros. Thank you, President Tiagi. Uh, you'll have the European Movement International as well to control uh, if all these proposals are taken on board, simply because we want them to be taken on board, and we would like to thank uh, the citizens in particular to have issued some ambitious proposal to assert the role of the EU in the world. And I mean, we're not surprised because very often the citizens have a feeling of common identity, united but diverse, shared sovereignty, and then the feeling that we are stronger and safer together. Whereas the national techno-structures, be they uh, political, administrative, and industrial, are sometimes more reluctant. So given the geopolitical context, our first mashad would be Let's take this on board. Let's be assertive. This is a time for EU empowerment. The citizens are, 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 are very firm in this direction and we support them. Of course, we need these proposals to be taken on board. We need them, second point, to be taken on board, including via a convention. Uh, the convention is not for everything, of course. There are many, many concrete proposals uh, facing energy uh, challenges, uh, trade issues, etc. But we may need, and we need a convention to, if we want to change the treaties. Time has come to deliver uh, on the promises uh, held by the Maastricht Treaty 30 years ago. The Rome Treaty had uh, established an objective, common market, but we lost 30 years before adopting the Single European Act shifting from unanimity to qualified majority voting. And because of this shift, it happened. We had a, a single market. So it's exactly the same challenge as of today. We need to deliver on mass risk promises. And this shift is not the alpha and omega, but it's very instrumental. Finally, last point on Ukraine. We need to deliver because of the war in Ukraine. We need to be fast on this. Uh, it's not only about theory. Uh, so, I mean, there is an expression in Ukraine, Vilna uh, Ukraina. Uh, this means long live Ukraine, long live a free Ukraine. And this means as well in our views, long live a free Europe. That's all the same. That's also why we need to deliver and that's why the EU in the world panel is a panel on empowerment and we need to fully support uh, uh, its proposal. Thank you very much, Mr. Chairman. Thank you.